What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are talking Town Hall 14 base building. Going to be doing a live base build for you guys so you can see my thought process, I can share some tips, kind of how you should go about building a base, at least from my perspective. Um, this isn't going to be the best quality base because I'm kind of winging it. Typically I'd put some more testing and thought into it, but I have an idea of what I want to do. We're going to see how it shapes up. Um, feel free to watch the full thing or skip along and see the base kind of built uh, over the course of a shorter time period. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Trying to use those Town Hall 14 base building principles. A couple ones I wanna highlight are before I actually put anything down um, that I've noticed have been effective. Keeping the Town Hall a little more central rather than kind of keeping it way off to the side, which was kind of meta uh, for Town Hall 12, 13. I like having it a little more central. It's too valuable of a building to give up easily to like a queen charge or something. Uh, so I, I think it's better to put it a little closer to the middle, but still a little bit isolated and I'll, I'll show you what I'm thinking for that in just a sec. Also, you want to limit queen charge value, of course, we'll do some techniques for that. Um, I like breaks in the base too, to mess up hybrid pathing and just pathing in general. Um, you want to avoid a nice smooth pathing through the base with uh, even distribution of buildings. You want to not do that and have breaks in your base. And then finally, using the defensive heroes strategically is going to be effective at stopping uh, the royal champion, stopping queen charges, and kind of limiting value in each part of the base by putting those defensive heroes in good spots. So let's go ahead and get started here. And I will, um, I was thinking about the best way to do this. I'm going to actually start by putting the town hall down. Um, I have to apologize for my new walls or low level. This account uh, I haven't upgraded as much the one I'm on right now. So um, Things are going to be a little lower level, but it has all the buildings. Going to do the nice uh, four tile distance from the walls just to start. Um, that's a good rule of thumb for limiting queen charge value if she gets into one of the adjacent compartments. Going to go ahead and kind of uh, have a little extra here. Um, and then if I believe, yep, that'll cut it off right there. Um, so what I'm actually going to do here is uh, put down my eagle somewhere near here, probably off to um, call it like this side. Um, so I want a little bit extra padding with the walls there to avoid a queen charge or something like that. Um, also going to put my clan castle probably in this area. And let's go ahead and do another one of these big units. Um, uh, obviously the things you think about when you're first starting out, you know, where are you going to put your scatter shots, eagle, town hall, all the big stuff. So we'll keep the scatter there. Um, I think we can go ahead and put like an expo right here and go ahead and close off this compartment um we'll also go f a few tiles up to give the scatter ooh, one more uh, generally speaking we're trying to have this uh size gap between the scatter shot and the walls just to avoid queen charges um, it's a good rule of thumb uh, for how far the walls should be between important buildings um and then we can go ahead and uh, close this one off somewhere over here. Uh, we can leave that for later. Actually, what I might like to do here is put in like one of these one building compartments, which is a good way to break things up and mess up wall breakers, uh, is to kind of have those one building compartments, which I, I'm a fan of. So we got the eagle over here. Um, we're gonna have to think about the best way to place this. Might move it one over, just get a little bit snugger, uh, a little bit more cozy there with the expo. Um, I think we're going to want to at least have some type of tricky wall situation, make it, you know, so it's not terribly easy to uh, just charge right in here and get the eagle taken out. And I think what we'll also do over in the corner is, yep, that's a good spot. Another one of these one building compartments. Let me remove some walls here. And oop, that's not going to be a big enough compartment. There we go. I'm going to have to go to my lower level walls as we progress here. Uh, and then we'll just kind of go out like that. So the eagle's nice and snug. Um, we're going to probably want to put a defensive hero here. This is a good way of kind of limiting some really easy Sui value. Um, so I'm going to put my royal champion here for now. can always change it later. Um, and then we're just going to kind of continue working our way around the base. Okay, what else uh, do we want here? I think a single inferno would be well used somewhere in this area. Uh, what it can hopefully do is limit the value of a queen charge and um, maybe like a king coming in or like a pekka something that could kind of run in there and get too much value um, so 
let me slide everything down here a little bit so we're a little more even um, we're gonna keep that there um, I think what I would like to do sometimes is one of these like tapered compartments so see what I mean in just a sec we'll go through here like that um, that actually might even be a little too much not to get a little too picky on this base but we can have it taper off a little more quickly here like that and then keep our single inferno like that just so we're maintaining a little bit of a, a a gap so the queen can't reach it if she comes in and charges this eagle we have some cushioning now for that single inferno to be an issue um, once again I'm gonna do a similar uh, tricky wall situation here just to uh, hopefully help that uh, part of the base out from a queen charge or something similar some kind of entry from over there and we'll probably end up closing that off later or overall looking pretty good um, I'm thinking I'm going to want to definitely just kind of put some might as well use the low level walls here spread some walls around here um, I do not want to put any other buildings too close to the town hall now some people are not a fan of the isolated town hall but I Personally, I think it can work on a lot of bases. I think it's underused even sometimes. Um, oftentimes, the hardest bases kind of have the town hall in a very isolated location, but not to the side, actually kind of towards the middle. Um, I think it's a good thing to try. Okay, so just kind of looking at how we are right now, I think we can throw the sc other scatter shot, which is another important building on the other side of the base here. Um, we can even give ourselves a little more room to kind of put it down. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and, and kind of push this part in. No reason not to. We have plenty of cushioning. Um, might as well use another wall there just to speed things up. Um, and what we can do is have this scatter shot kind of be its own uh, little compartment here. Actually, that should be one, one over. Bringing out the level 14 walls here to flex, even though there's now level 15 walls in the game. Um, so... We'll just kind of close that off like that and can add more to that later. I think that's a pretty good design there. We got two other infernos we want to think about where to put. Um, I would say that maybe a good location uh, would be to have them uh, a couple multis, maybe like one here, one over here. I think that's pretty fair. Um, so we want to think about the best way to, to do some of these compartments. Um, let's see, a couple different ways we could play this. I'm going to keep this inferno actually pretty tight to that compartment. We'll probably end up just putting a storage here, um, so I can go ahead and throw that down. I would like to have an extra layer here just so all my infernos aren't, you know, terribly exposed to the uh, outside of the base too much. Um, so what I, what I would like to do is have like an apartment like this, even though we're getting a little tight on space here I guess we can make that work um, yeah okay we might have to actually uh, make this instead of a four tile just a two tile buffer and then slide this back I think that's totally acceptable um, for what we got going on here and then and that compartment have it jut out like that um, cool I think that's that's decent um, we'll just make this one over here a regular compartment so uh, let's keep that nice friendly gap with the scatter shot and then we will go ahead and uh, take that out um, close this off even put a compartment here let's go one farther over you can see I'm, I'm not always calling it out but I'm keeping the same uh, compartment sizes that you want to have roughly um, as I talked about before for queen charges Okay, I think we're shaping up pretty nicely. Um, we can start to think about how we want to fill in other things like expos, for example. Um, typically, I like to have decent expo coverage near the eagle. That allows for um, uh, to kind of make the eagle more difficult for the attacker to get taken out. We'll probably also put some more walls over there. We've got to be a little careful about our wall usage, but I think right now we're actually uh, in pretty good shape here. We have a fair amount left um, so one thing I can consider doing is having a compartment here um, which will definitely soak up some wall breakers and even that uh, if the attacker opens that up it's not a huge deal 
Um, we can just kind of have that taper off like so. Um, yeah, I think this is looking pretty good. I'm also gonna have this kind of come over here and uh, make it kind of a weird entry uh, as the attacker comes in there. Uh, I, as you can see, I like to put my walls down first. That's kind of my preference typically. Then I'll adjust them later. I've left some extras, got like 10 or so extra walls to, to use as needed. Um, in terms of the rest of the expos, not, don't want to put them too close to anything too high value, but we can keep them, um, I think, by some of these inferno towers, and that's totally acceptable. Uh, some people like to keep them deeper in the base. Personally, I think sometimes it's actually better to have them a little farther out. Um, now, one thing we want to think about is that dead space I mentioned earlier, um, which sometimes it's a good idea to have those discontinuities in your base. Um, so one thing you can do is, for example, around this scatter shot, I think it would be really high value to... Uh, just kind of fill out that space like so um, to really avoid certain pathing around the base in those high value areas. And we could even consider doing a similar thing over by this inferno, which will help us to isolate the eagle and avoid it being taken out as part of a bigger push. At the same time, it also has some pretty uh, sizable and uh, high value defensive buildings in the area. Uh, which is also going to make it hard for a very simple suey so it's kind of a weird position for the attacker all right enough on that um keep the air defenses typically closer to the outside um just uh i think it's good to have that air coverage um and uh you know dragons are sometimes uh, a bit of a, a concern but i think that in general it's not a bad idea to kind of keep them keep them towards the outside and limit the value from like a lightning spell or something. Although we don't see that as much as we used to. Um, okay, I think we're in pretty good shape. I think that sweeper would be nice. We can put some spring traps between that or some giant bombs. Good trap location, so we'll keep it there. Also good coverage on the eagle. Um, we're not gonna have great sweeper positioning just because the town hall is taking up the middle of the base. Uh, but we can do our best and in terms of the other sweeper, I think uh, just kind of reversing things and having it maybe like so uh, would be decent. Um, like I said, it's not gonna always be great. Uh, the sweepers, you know, you can argue how effective they are. In a good spot, a sweeper is very effective, but against bases like these, you're kind of sacrificing sweeper value by clearing out a lot of the core. Um, the queen, I do like to protect relatively well. Um, so I am going to consider if I wanna I think we actually have some leeway to move this set of walls back and I might just try to slide her right in there um, like so not like greatly protected but I might put a Tesla farm there too which would also kind of be part of the bait if there was like a, um, a less forceful part of the attack over on that side Okay, so at this point, we're gonna to start to fill in more defensive buildings as well as heroes. Thinking about where I wanna put my king, and I think right away this stands out as a good location to me. Uh, there's not a whole lot over there right now, just a multi-inferno, which has trouble sticking up for itself sometimes. So um, you want a, a unit that does a lot of uh, single unit damage, like the king, uh, to really counter that. The multi-inferno obviously targets a lot of different troops, which has its own uh, strengths and weaknesses, so you want to kind of balance things out over there. Um, we're getting down to maybe like starting to look at wizard towers, which in general for like, you know, bats, you kind of have to consider it sometimes, but with two multis, less important um, in terms of like uh, defending against air attacks, uh, somewhat away from air defenses, but uh, that, you know, is less of a priority sometimes too. So we're going to keep them spread out. Um, I actually might put a wizard tower in that compartment right there. Put the last one here. I think, you know, we have very nice coverage against bats. If we want to be extra careful, we could even slide it over um, to avoid like a freeze value. But actually, I don't even think that's going to be necessary with the scatter shot there. So um, I think we're in good shape. Uh, in terms of the bomb towers, usually like to have these guys kind of right at the entrance of anything that meanders in, like the king. Uh, that way you get the the value of uh, a troop that doesn't have any range uh, suffering the giant bomb effect when it blows up. So we'll put one there. 
and we can go ahead and toss our other one there. Once again, apologies, this account is low level. You were warned. Um, the Warden, I like to keep near the Queen. Another high damage unit, so we're gonna put there. As I'm filling in, I'm being careful about uh, value from Blizzard or uh, Yeti Bomb or um, Lightning Spell, any of these like concentrated like drop and bomb your base with like a very uh, concentrated a, a attempt there. So one thing that we have to look at in terms of the blizzard value is of course over on the eagle. I think we're in okay shape. One thing I'm going to adjust is I'm going to move my scatter shot one uh, tile farther. I'm able to do that uh, no problem just to avoid anything bouncing off these two buildings and hitting the scatter. Uh, you have to look at that pretty much all around the base. I'm not going to be too conscious but when you're double checking your base and testing something to definitely look at for sure. Um, We've gotten a lot of the big buildings down. Um, sometimes it's a good idea to put storages down now in places where you know you don't want to have a defense. So I'm going to put one there. Um, I think I will also put one here by the eagle. Um, and uh, yeah, it's hard to say. Uh, I think I'm just going to fill in de defenses into this compartment. Um, might as well just fill it in completely. Uh, no need to put traps or anything in there. Uh, definitely like having the storages to really slow things down and just a general attack uh, as opposed to just having like all defenses inside your walls. Less of a fan. Um, builder huts, now they are defenses and they do have value so I'm going to start to fill these in mostly around my inferno towers. Um, obviously not all these builders are upgraded but on a typical base uh, they would be so I think it's a good idea to kind of have them just spread out to an extent. Um, they don't take up much space, so they're a good way to um, avoid having situations where you have a bunch of chain value for like a blizzard or something. You can also put one next to the town hall, I suppose, but mm, to avoid, you know, pathing that could potentially lead to it. I'm just going to go ahead and put the last one. Um, mm, a little bit torn here. And I'll put the last one like over by the eagle again. Okay. Looks pretty good. Actually, move it to there. All right, good shape. Um, cool. We can start to fill in some more defenses. So um, put the cannons typically closer to the air defenses to balance out the air ground a little bit. Um, obviously, we're going to have quite a few of cannons, archer towers outside the base, which is totally fine in my opinion. Um, I think actually we might be... Oh, no, we'll leave it like that for now. Um, so I think a cannon here is well spent. Um, I think we're going to definitely want a couple uh, defenses out around here. Maybe do a cannon archer tower combo. Put that archer tower to there. Um, similar thing over here. We can have a nice archer tower cannon. Some people are less, you know, don't like that exterior um, defense look. I'm okay with it as long as it doesn't get too excessive with like high value buildings, um, as long as it's not too concentrated in one area. So I think we're, we're doing pretty good. Gonna put like one here, uh, one opposite over here. Yeah, I think this is shaping up nicely. Um, obviously I'm not gonna fill in everything on this base, um, but I will finish it and drop the link in the description just in case you guys wanna try it out. I, I wouldn't necessarily say it's gonna be a a great base that I'd recommend using, but you know, you can test it out. Let me know how it goes if you, if you'd like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in for the purpose of this video with the traps and stuff a little bit more. Um, I might end up adjusting it to put a few more buildings inside the walls. We do have a couple more walls. We can consider expanding a compartment um, or using them to kind of guard another compartment. So um, one thing I might do is over here. Um, it might be a good idea to have this kind of expand a little farther out um, to try to mess up some wall breakers coming in. We'd actually want to have a couple more walls than this even um, to try to prevent uh, a wall breaker from opening up this area specifically. So something to think about. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually cave and put the cannon inside the walls. I was kind of going back and forth, but go ahead and do it here. Um, put like archer tower here. Not bad, not bad. Um, we can start to fill in these mortars 
more or less on the outside. I'm not going to get into the details of mortars in this video. Uh, put one there. Put one there. And looks like we have one archer tower left. So just for sake of simplicity, um, I guess we can go ahead and throw it inside. No biggie there. Okay, um, Tesla farm. I'm I'm a fan of a Tesla farm usually. Um, sometimes you want to have one or two lone Teslas for very specific purposes. Um, sometimes it's a good idea to put one right by the town hall here, which I might consider doing. I think that would be a good spot. Um, put some like spring traps or something, or just one spring trap. Uh, it gives the town hall a little bit something else to kind of latch on to, uh, which can help trigger traps and stuff like that. Um, so I'll go ahead and put my tornado here and a skeleton spell as you guys saw there. Um, in general, the giant bombs, I think, are well spent around uh, multi-infernos, I would say. Go ahead and put one over here as well. Um, exterior, they are okay as well to kill witches, stuff like that. Try to keep them near defenses, though. Go ahead and put another one by this uh, inferno. And um, just areas where a lot of troops are going to kind of group up and be walking around the base. So I'm going to even put another one right there, really, really sell out that region as a big giant bomb region. Um, in terms of spring traps, typically between defenses um, in kind of the orientation you expect troops to path through. So we're going to continue with that. We are going to can even get kind of cheeky and put one there for any troops walking in, although I don't know how effective that would be. Um, put one there. Trying to keep a relatively even distribution on the springs, uh, of course. I'm going to save one in case I get any Tesla uh, locations to capitalize on. So like I said, I think a Tesla farm would be decent here. It's near the Queen. It's covered by a scatter, um, but it's not in an area where they're already going to be coming big, most likely. Wouldn't expect a ton to kind of come at this side of the base. It's kind of hard to Queen charge. Values a bit spread out. Um, might expect a Sui, but that's okay if there's a Sui hero. Uh, or something small, Teslas can uh, handle that and withstand it. Also, I'm not going to put them all in the exact same spot. I, I really don't like doing that. Um, we're going to kind of keep them like that. A few of them inside the walls there um, to really kind of spread things out. Put a few storages. Um, looks like that one's going to be a tough sell unless we can slide things over, which I don't think we can. So we will go ahead and put it like right there. That way we can put that storage there. Um, and then, you know, kind of filling in buildings. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of the traps. Got one more wall to put there. Nice. Okie dokie. Um, let's finish off our traps and I'll call it a video here. Um, before we get any longer on time. Going to keep one out here. Giant bomb. I'm um, going to go ahead and put a spring there. I like to sometimes put small bombs to, like, kill little troops that could, you know, be up at the end. Barbarians from the king. Uh, if the witches, you know, have skeletons near them, they can trigger it and can kill the skeletons. Um, just to kind of take out little stuff around the base. Sometimes people put, put it to kill wall breakers, but because of super wall breakers, most of the time you're not going to be dealing with normal wall breakers. So, um, typically just kind of enhancing a giant bomb or, uh, just adding a tiny bit of damage. Maybe you'll get lucky. Um, seeking air mines are a little bit more important, so we want to think about where queen charges are going to be happening. Um, not a bad idea to keep them next to air defenses um, for lava hounds, but uh, also you got to be careful if they get lightning down. Um, so we're really thinking about uh, queen charges coming here, so I'm going to put another one there as well as one over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep a couple just by each of these inferno towers. And we'll put one out by the scatter. Skeleton traps. Um, one by the eagle for sure. Also one by the Tesla farm. That's a good rule of thumb in my opinion. Uh, we have that fourth one because we're a Town Hall 14. So where are we going to put that one? Uh, we'll keep it by this scatter shot. Looks good. Um, these red bombs typically keep away from air defenses near wizard towers is the general rule of thumb. Um, but typically they're going to be most effective against like dragons. Um, or even taking out healers in some cases. You notice my skeleton uh, spells were, or my skeleton traps were all on ground. Sometimes you want to keep one or two on eagle. I'm actually going to put this one, no, I'll put this one on, or not on eagle, on air. Um, I'm going to put that one on air. And um, they can be really annoying for queen charges if a bunch of them pop up or something and the queen starts targeting them. 
So we're going to load up this area a little bit with some red uh, air bombs by each of these infernos. I think that's pretty good. And I think I've covered most of it. Um, typical length, a bit longer for one of these live base builds, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I'll finish this base real quick and put the link in the description and encourage you guys to check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. And of course, got to shout out my uh, base building Patreon. Um, if you want custom war bases every month uh, of even higher quality than this, I assure you, um, be sure to subscribe to the Patreon. Uh, link is in the description and uh, you can get monthly war bases built to your uh, custom desire. That is all. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, ISECT, in the settings tab of your game and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time. Bisectatron out.